Hello and welcome. Welcome back to the farm. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to take a minute to wish you guys a happy new year and thank you for all the support you've given the channel the past few months. I appreciate it so, so much. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep doing it into the new year here. So let's get going. I'm going to park the tractor up here for convenience. Run back and get the harvester, I guess. We got quite a bit of barley still to come out of the ground. Hey, horsies. It's getting a little bit late in the day, so... We're going to have to hustle a little bit, but we should be fine. Alright, here we go. So we're going to start on the lower horse field. I think I'm going to call that field uh, home plate. Home plate? Yeah, it kind of looks like a home plate from baseball. You know what I'm talking about. It's a little misshapen. It's kind of a uh, deformed home plate. Let's call it deformed home plate. How about that? That sounds pretty good. All right, so yeah, we got about, I'd say 80% of this field left. So you know how I do, let's pop in a tape. Let's knock it out, here we go. All right, there we go. Ended up doing both those fields. Hope you don't mind. We got a good, I'd say, who knows, a little bit over halfway field trailer here. So that's coming along well. I was hoping for like two full trailers, but I don't know if we're gonna get that far. But this next field's gonna be a doozy for sure. Gonna be a lot of grain coming out of there. So I think for levity and uh, keep this episode going, we're gonna pop back in that tape and, you know, knock it out as fast as we can. I assume it'll be dark by the time we're done. Let's go. Well, it seems like they're all full. I was expecting them to take a little bit more. Looks like they top out at around 40,000 liters. But 
No real worries. We'll just stick the rest in the silo. Um, maybe I'll think about getting a silo down here. I don't know if that'd be cost effective. We don't actually deliver that much down here, so it's kind of like on one hand we stick it down here, on the other we just deliver it down when they need it. Not the end of the world to do to do that. But yeah, let's get back to the farm. Let's finish up that field. Let's see what we got. We'll empty this in the silo when we get back, and that'll be that. Yeah, there we go. Getting a little bit dark now. But we're all done. It wasn't too bad. Heck yeah. Alright, well let's see what we got here. Looks like we're going to... Uh We'll be pretty close to filling this up, but we're not quite there. So we've got about, you know, a trailer and uh, a half or so. We're pretty happy about that. Can't complain at all. Let's go spit shine this girl and uh, get her tucked away for the evening. I think tomorrow we'll probably run down to the brewery. Maybe sell some beer? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how much they've made. Since it will be a new month, I imagine they'll have made a decent amount. Enough to sell a little bit. Maybe we'll bring a trailer down with some product and uh, kind of top them off. I doubt they'll need a full trailer, but we can look into that. Let me plop this back on the header trailer. I think maybe we'll start carrying our own weight with the harvester and pulling the trailer on our own here. There we go. That looks pretty good right there all right Let's see if i can get her in position to where i can tow her come on gator let's do it and i think i'll figure out that big barn and try to keep the header right in there next to the harvester. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the grass cutting stuff. Maybe I'll buy a new barn and keep it over by the sheep. That's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe we'll look into that tomorrow. I don't know what barns we have available. We can poke around and see. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too long before we have to start 
readying these fields. That won't be tomorrow, but it will be within the next couple months. You know how that goes. That's quite a lot of work. Anyway, let's uh let's give her a shine here. Hey, quiet down, chickens. There we go. Yeah, she's pretty dirty. She's a dirty girl. That's looking pretty... Yeah, let me get my light on here. That's looking pretty good. Ooh, lots of dirt over here. Looks like she's getting kind of chipped up. Looks like she's getting kind of chipped up, too. Might need to get a paint job. Look at that back end there. It's missing quite a lot of paint. Yeah, we love her just the same. Alright, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a little too dark. I think I'll just leave it here for now. Maybe figure this out in the morning. Let's take a look over in the barn here. Before we go to bed. Kick the light on. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be enough room in here for the header and this grass cutting equipment. So we'll figure that out when it's light. We'll find a place for it. Shut the door here. Let's head to bed. Maybe grab a little bit of dinner first. Do these have water? These are good. Yeah, these are pretty good for the for the night. I guess I should probably close up all these sheds so we don't get any muskrats, especially the fruit and vegetable one. I've seen a couple hedgehogs around. Ooh, yeah, I left this open. That's a mistake. Come out in the morning missing a few tomatoes. I think we're good though. Let's uh let's head in. Haven't seen Paul in a while. I wonder what he's up to. Maybe kick him a little bit of dinner here if I can. Can't even see his food bowl though. It's too dark. Oh, there it is. Um. All right. Apparently I can't feed him. So if he comes on in, we'll give him a piece of steak or something. All right. Well, here we are. We'll catch up with you in the morning. All right. Good morning. It's beautiful out. Paul's running around a little bit. Looks like he's getting some breakfast. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you off there. Look at this, we already got weeds coming in on the fields. So that's exciting. We're going to have to get to work on those pretty soon. We got some fruits and vegetables. We'll have to move those at some point, but... I was laying in bed last night and I thought about it. I think I'm going to put a barn out by the sheep. I've decided. So let me grab little white here. And we will get the grass cutting implements. We're going to have to cut a little bit of grass before we can place the barn. Uh, oh, see, look at this. Having issues with... Oh. Sometimes you have issues with the doors. I don't really know why. All right. 
right, there's the cutter. Whoa, 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 watch that lettuce. Ooh, look at that. We are front heavy. Let's get a little weight on the back here. All right, let's head over towards the sheep. Watch out, Bambies. Run. Your buddies went that way. Turn around. Don't want them to get lost from each other there. All right, so yeah, I believe... The grass is ready to cut over here. Yeah, it's looking lush. It's looking good. Let's hop out for one sec. Yeah, ready to harvest. I wish I had come back and put fertilizer on it, but I admittedly did not. All right, so I'm thinking about putting the barn kind of in front of us there. Um, well, can I cut this grass without putting this down? Not really, no. Because when I do put this down, it's really hard to push. Which is a little bit of an issue for me, but I guess we'll make do. Let's just try to cut kind of enough to um hang on yeah kind of just enough to put a barn in now we are going to cut this whole field at some point but not right this minute I think we're going to have to get we're either going to have to get a new tractor or we're going to have to upgrade one of our existing tractors. Oh, boy. With the front link. Because none of our bigger tractors actually have that front link. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck going up a hill in this thing right now. I know I'm missing a little bit, but I'm just trying to keep a little bit of speed, and we'll come back. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to cut this kind of ugly right now. Dang, this tractor's terrible for cutting grass. Let's just try to cut it. Yeah, we'll come back with the, the loading wagon after. I love how it spins in there. Look at that. It's so cool. I really wish it went up the ramps, but I don't know. Maybe there's a different one that is working at the moment. I'll have to look around, I guess. But anyway, I don't know how much space we're going to need to put the barn in here. Probably that whole section that I already cut, just to be on the safe side. Let's go down here. Yeah, this thing's brutal on the hills. Anyway, I've got a couple old barns that I'm thinking. One issue is this loading wagon's actually pretty tall. Oh my god, come on. Pull, baby. So, there actually might only be one legitimate option that this will fit into.
But unfortunately, this is taking forever, so we may never even get to that point. Nice clean cut, though. Well, the sheep are going to be happy when I dish them a little bit more food, at least. Is that thing smoking like crazy, or is that just me? Wow, I, I didn't even notice that. When it picks up grass, it kind of smokes. Look at that. Is this supposed to do that? That can't be good. Man, we're going to be here all day. Cut, cut, cut. We're almost done over here. Two little cuts over here and we should be fine. And probably two more over there. Then we need to... Oh, I missed a little nope there. See if we can get all this. I think we did. Yep, should be one more pass and then we're... Good with the cutting. Oh my god, that thing's smoking like crazy. Is it on fire? Uh, sharp turn. Ah, I was trying to get that little piece. Come on. You got it. I think it might be getting heavier. The more grass we put in, the harder it is to pull. Anyway, let's go get that last little piece right here and then... Ooh. Then we'll be done. Enough with the cutting. Ah, it's so much better. Let's pick all this up if we can. Real quick. Let's do some serpentines here. I was eyeing this barn out. It's going to be pretty cool, I think. I'm excited to stick it up. It is old. It's definitely aged. And falling apart a little bit, but... We are... Uh, we're fine with that. We like a little bit of heritage. A little bit of uniqueness in our stuff. Just adds a little bit of charm. I'm starting to get dizzy. Know about you guys. There we go. Oops, didn't mean to turn that on. Let's see if we can unload this over here. I forget exactly where this unloads. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm stuck on the fence.
Where exactly did this unload? Was it like... Thought it was right here. Maybe it's out a little bit. Oh, they're all coming in. They want this fresh grass. But I can't find the spot to drop it. How is it not just right here? Okay, anyway. We're going to give this one more go from this side. And then we're quitting. Back to the end of the drive there. Okay, well, uh, I'm a little confused. Whatever. I guess you're not getting grass. All right. This is a little bit uneven, but I think we can make it happen. So the barn I was looking at is, let's see if I can find it. I think this one, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. But it's not that pricey. Let's get it lined up with this road so we know it's kind of square. And then let's plop it right there. Ooh, look at this. Like I said, it is a bit old. It's a little cracked over there. But not too bad. Ooh, freaky. Yeah, they definitely sold us a busted barn. Oh, can't jump through there. Let me out. What is this? Okay. Well then. Let's see if we can get this in there. Like I said, I don't know if it fits because it's actually really tall. And then we'll do a little bit of landscaping. Why can't I feed the sheep too, by the way? Look at that crow levitating right there. That's creepy, man. That's creepy. So we're going to have to put a little bit of a road in here. Ooh, I don't know. I think this is just going to sneak in. But I got to get it kind of dead center. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Drop that. Ah, fantastic. I think that fits pretty good. We're okay with that, right? Yeah, we like that a lot. Looks good in there. Let's stick the cutter in this side, if we can get it in there. Let's 
There we go. Park that right there. Fantastic. I think that looks... Well, I'm going to decide when I get back here. I think that looks pretty good, actually. It kind of fits perfectly with that sheep barn. You let me know what you think in the comments there. But I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, we do have these really long kind of parking areas here. Maybe we'll put the trailer. Uh, I don't know about the trailer. But maybe the gooseneck could fit in there pretty good. Because the gooseneck does stick out a little bit in that barn down there. Yeah, I hear you. Where do you want me to feed you? Over here? Over here, you say? Whatever, man. Can't even deal with those guys. Anyway, let's do a little bit of landscaping before we uh, call this a success. Um, what am I looking for here? What am I doing? Okay. First of all, let's paint all this crap. Uh, I haven't landscaped in a while. Let me see if I can remember how to do it here. Ooh, that's not the same at all. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Oh, it's because this is a field. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and plow this again. Forgot about that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm crazy. We're putting road in here. Why am I putting grass in there? Like an idiot. We're putting road in there. I'm sorry. That was ridiculous. I'm going to road all through here. Look at me standing there. Get out of the way, you turkey. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I like to keep everything even. Let's go to about there. That should be pretty good. I don't want to go any further down. Oh, I'm getting stuck here. I can't get that section at the moment. some reason all right well that's pretty good let's see if I can make this a little bit oh that's gonna take a huge chunk out though that's fine We'll come back through here and plow the field to make it a little bit bigger anyway. There we go. We'll kind of, uh, we'll just grasp this for the moment. We'll grasp back here. Uh, 
Having issues grassing here. Oh, there we go. All right, that's pretty good. Now let me stick the actual grass in so it looks a little bit better. On-demand grass. I don't understand the problem around the doors. It's got issues around the doors. For some reason. Alright, that's not too bad. Let me just fix this area quick. Uh, hang on, let's, let's grass this spot. Just because it looks kind of weird. And we'll have to come reseed all this. That's no worries. So it looks good at the moment. I think that looks fantastic. Not bad at all. So yeah, I'll come through and natural it out a bit and maybe put some bushes or trees or something. We'll make it look good back here. Not to say it doesn't look good already. We'll make it look a bit better. Maybe flatten this out. I'm not too concerned about it, but it is a little bit slopey through there. I'm happy about that. I think the sheep are pretty happy. You know what I'm going to do while we're over here? If I can ah, I found it I found something what do you think about getting some of these browns in here how much are these these are the uh, older ones let's get you've already got four of the black ones let's get four of these Heck, let's get four of these. Let's get four of those. Oh, man, look at that. What do we have, 16 now? Oh, they're so beautiful. That one is really galloping around. Look at him. Hey, bud. I'm going to name you Bethany. Oh. All right. We didn't see that. We did not see that. Well, they seem happy. Wish I could figure out where to feed them, but I will. I will. Interestingly enough, we haven't had any wool coming out of here yet. Now, one question I do have is... Hang on, let me... Uh, close that. Now, when it says their health is zero... Like, I know that one's new, but... This one over here... Age 13 months, health is zero. Am I doing something wrong with them? As far as I can see, I've got food. Water. I mean, they're not full up by any means. I can definitely top this off. Why is their health not going up at all? Am I doing something wrong? 
As, like I said, as far as I can tell, there's really not much else to it other than the food and the water. So I don't know. Does this one seem like it's a... Uh... He's very furry. Hi. I'm going to name you... Philip. He looks like a Philip. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to cut that here. I really appreciate everything. As I was saying, all the support on the channel has been amazing. And I hope you stick around throughout this new year. We're going to go places. Plenty more videos to be had. I've got some interesting thoughts on where this series is going to go. We'll have to find out. So have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you later. See ya.